interrupter programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. Hello, everybody. This is June 14th, and there's an emergency alert for the Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant. It is at stage 4 alert, according to the uh, Nuclear Energy Association, or whatever you want to call them. They evidently had a fire last Friday because of flooding. Uh, it's expected to rise another 5 feet into the facility. Um, anyways, the fire was in an electrical switch room on Tuesday, last Tuesday, and knocked out the cooling for a pool holding spent fuel at Fort Collins nuclear plant outside Omaha, Nebraska, plant officials said. Now what they're not saying in this article that the smoke inside the switch room was for some reason highly contaminative, very, um, very unhealthy. It took them 90 minutes to get the fire out, which means the cooling pool system at least was down for 90 minutes. And we all know that for um, a cooling system, within a half hour, spent fuel rods can be exposed within one half hour. So even though they got the switch room fire out, how long was there no circulation to the spent fuel pool? Okay, we're not being told that. This should be an emergency alert on all the broadcast systems. There is 1.2 million people within a 50 mile radius of Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, here, um, I can't, there we go. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, and that's where the reactor is. It's about 17.2 miles, I think. Maybe a little farther. Um, but they are definitely in serious trouble. Workers restored the coolie system. About 90 minutes took them. Plant officials said the temperature in the pool only increased about 2 degrees. How much you want to bet they're lying? They are lying. The fire report at 9.30 a.m. led to the loss of electrical power for the system that circulates cooling water through the spent fuel pool, according to a report from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. A chemical fire suppression system discharged and the plant fire brigade cleared smoke from the room and reported the fire was out at 10.20 a.m., the NRC said. Mike Jones, a spokesman for the plant's owner, Omaha Public Power District, said Fort Collins has a backup pumps to provide water to the spent fuel in case the main system is lost. The pump, which runs on a separate power supply from the rest of the plant, was inspected and standing by. They didn't use it. It was on standby on Tuesday. But plant operators restored the main power to the pool before emergency pump was needed. 90 minutes later? Excuse me, but that's way too long. For Calhoun's single reactor has been shut down since April for refueling and the plant already has been operating under a heightened level of alert because of nearby flooding going on the Missouri River, the NRC said. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Um, I have a video for you. It's a lot worse because this article was done the 9th. Um, there was a radio broadcast last night about 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to post that here in a minute. All right, I'll keep you up to date. Um, this is not good. We need to get rid of these nuclear reactors. All right, stay safe, and um, I would get out if I was you guys a long ways out. All right, talk to you later. Bye.